Hi, and I'm back again. We're going to talk a little bit more about our project. And what I would like to do is talk about um, the amber vase, okay? Um, I'm going to move this one totally out of the way. We can keep this one right about here, but we really want to talk about this guy right here, okay? And um, now, in the video, I may have um, talked about the stem somewhat. I know we talked about the distortion of the crystal vase, and um, let's see, and we talked about the distortion of the candlestick holder, okay? But I'm gonna show you a quick way to paint the stem because I haven't painted it yet. And I'd like to talk about this part of the vase right down here. Um, I love that part of the vase and I love when I'm painting thick glass. So how do we get this to look like, you know, look at the distortion there. You, this thick, thick, thick glass, if I were to hold it up right here, it's clear, right? Very, very clear. Wow, very clear. Now we have our distortions and all that fun stuff. So, um, ironically, this is what happens in the photograph. Um, I can't imagine how difficult and or maybe, I, maybe it's not difficult for you, but um, the frustration level of not being able to hold it and see it um, but then again, you know, when I do do this workshop um, around the country and, and the students are there, I'm there to be able to describe how thick it is or, or um, et cetera. But this is really cool to be able to have the piece right in front of me and to be able to discuss it and, and give you a little bit more info on this. Okay, so first, let's go back and talk about the stem. Um, as you can see, I started putting some greens in and yellows, okay? And I'm not going to do too much detail because I, I, I don't want it to be the star of the show. I want it just to stand back, star of the show. That's uh, Guy Magellanus. He's uh, my studio mate, and uh, he and I do a television program together, and he uses that term, star of the show. We want it to be the star of the show. So I'm mixing uh, my yellows and a little bit of the Windsor Green Blue shade that we've learned to love so much, um, just to make a pale green, uh, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is you could just drop this in quickly. And, and you know, it's got these funny little stubby things. And this was a plant that used to be out in uh, my front yard. And it had these Mary Bell type um, flowers, and it was perfect for this um, for this still life. But I just didn't want to make a big deal out of it, so that's why I cut it off here at the top. And here it comes, here it comes. And you can paint paint it on down and just you know get some um, get it nice and wet. You could do a wet into wet technique if you care to you can um, you can just hit it with some of the um, a little hit of uh, green if you want I like doing the wet into wet because um, I want the colors to you know split apart and not and not just um, be all one tone and you can have a darker side and a lighter side right there right there yes there it is there it is and it's got these funny little stems that look like fingers. And um, the stems at the very end have these brown tips. So if you take your um, permanent alizarin crimson and transparent yellow and make an orange, boom, boom, right there, right there, right there. And you can just knock those in, knock those in, and bring it on down. And there goes my dog. So, shoot, shoot, shoot. And there was the dryer. So I do live in a very active fan, uh, household, okay? So here it comes right here. And I'm not sure if she's barking at deer or somebody's at the door or, um, but boy, she anxious, isn't she? Okay, so here it comes. Okay. Hey, Taco! Taco, stop. Come here, Taco. 
Okay. And there you have it. Okay? That it's just that easy. I wonder if I can pause this. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I think everything's okay then. Okay, so now she stopped working. Very nice. Oh, here comes somebody in. Okay. Um, let me just pause it.